Okay, so it's a nice, beautiful Saturday morning. The lawn looks pretty good, except for some bad spots. But basically what I need to do is um, make sure that all the sprinkler heads are uh, clear so that uh, they could pop up in water. I know where a couple of them are. So I gotta get out my weed whacker, clear the edges because uh, I didn't get to do that yesterday. And um, then I need to turn the sprinkler on, see where all my sprinkler heads are, mark them, and then I can clear them with the weed whacker. Hey everybody, and I have an announcement to make. Yay! I am doing a collab with Maple Poon, Calvin, for those of you who know him. He has asked me if I would help him with his 1,000th video. Congratulations, guys, on hitting your 1,000th video. And I am so excited that he asked me to do this, and I am so looking forward to it. I am going to color some bookmarkers for him to give away as gifts on his channel. So he picked out four bookmarkers that he colored. Can you pan down for those? And I'm going to color those and I am going to laminate them and put a little ribbon on them. And then when he is ready to, he's gonna keep one of them and he's going to give the other three away to some of his special subscribers. So make sure you watch Maple Poon for his giveaways. And I will keep checking in with you guys throughout the coloring process to let you know where we stand. Bye! All right, so today I did some more battle against my weeds and uh, this whole side of the of my house is a hillside and it's all mine and as some of you might be aware hillsides are a pain uh, this used to be quite beautiful we uh, spent when my mother lived with us we spent quite a lot of money um, landscaping and uh, when the drought hit and I lost my job I had to cut back on everything, so I uh, no longer have someone doing the, the yard work for me, obviously. Um, something is wrong with the sprinklers. I'm going to get Jay out here to help me with that. But uh, a lot of stuff is dying because I guarantee you it's not getting proper watering. And then there are some bushes that are getting way too much watering. I do believe that one has a sprinkler head underneath it. I may have to completely cut that back or out. And crabgrass, this is my next battle. Crabgrass is actually a lot harder to deal with than the weeds that I was just uh, dealing with. The weeds come out quite easily. They grow fast, but they're easy to take out. Crabgrass uh, fights back. And I got a lot of it, as you can see. So, I, had, uh, I have stones along this edge. Of course, this actually belongs to the city but I have to take care of it regardless, because the city won't. And um, so I pulled out all the weeds here, and the little weeds that I couldn't get out, and there's some little ones, I sprayed with some Roundup, and they should uh, shrivel up pretty soon. Some of this looks gorgeous, though, and I love this. Ground cover, uh, this stuff was here before we got here. We actually do want to pull it up, but it's again, it's one of those things that is impossible to get rid of once you've got it. It's like having ivy, it'll never go away. A succulent, I forget what it's called, but um, yeah, I still have weeds on the hillside. I'll have to deal with those on another day. As you can see, I still have palm trees growing like weeds, and I'll have to use a shovel to get those out. I've got some um, clover growing on the edge here which I'm going to leave because I like clover it's nice little yellow flowers Let's see if there's any four-leaf clovers in here definitely won't send one to Fred but 
maybe it'll be luck for me. So, I don't see any. I'm never lucky. I have to work hard. Some of these look like four leaf clovers, but it's just the way the leaf is designed. Uh, don't see it. These are weeds. I'm not sure what it is. It kind of looks like wheat, but it comes right up. It's really easy to come out. I just uh, ran out of gas again, as usual. Got some cactus again that was uh, on the hillside before. I'm not going to pull that out because it's, it's holding in the hillside. Two very large trees, so root system I would say is probably doing a really good job of holding this hillside up. I put this little knee wall up my first year I moved here because this, just to keep the hillside from covering the uh, sidewalk and uh, that was quite a job. That took me weeks and weeks and weeks and I finally had to ask for help from uh, uh, Mike Dunn who's a landscaper, who did this landscaping by the way. Uh, so, to help me finish it up, but I did an okay job. Had to do step stepping up, it's all level with the steps. It's kind of cool. There's some more weeds I have to deal with, but I have run out of uh, baskets to put weeds in. This is some sort of herb. I don't know what it is. You guys probably might be able to tell me. It smells delicious. I'm sure I can make a tea out of it. But it sure smells good. All right, so that was today's project. Um, Angie and Jay are off to uh, something. I don't know what it is, but uh, some sort of uh, convention kind of thing. To go over their channel to see what that is. But I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Looks like somebody lives here now. All right, so we come to the end of another video. Val was actually sick today. Uh, she didn't do any videotaping. Uh, the clip that you saw of her was from a couple of days ago. Um, how, the collaboration she's doing with Maple Poon. So, um, hope you like this video. It's just more of me gardening, I guess. And um, if you enjoyed it, then give us a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe or resubscribe. Share this videotape with everybody you know. And I will see you tomorrow.